been uh, setting up now for um, scraping the gibbs. So what I'll do first is just make myself a, a grinding table. This is my preliminary um, flattened straight edge out of a, some parts of an old wood blade. I have, it, have them in longer sections also. Just go like this. Just secured with some tape. Of course, double sided tape underneath here or glue would be much better. As you can see, the shorter gib here produces a little bit out. So I have a little bit, can some, some for wear. The longer side, I adjusted the gib to a sliding fit now and it's just on the money and the way I've done this is that I've used shims on the back side shims that come out of a box like that so I can select different thickness and on the longer gib I used the 2500 of a millimeter the other one I used 10, I should have used 8. I'm looking at the gibbs, the rear side of the long gib. You can see that there are two strips of that. It says 25 there. Hard to tell, but there is it. Of course, these are trimmed down on each side. I use a belt sander at work, just that seemed okay. And of course, here on the ends, I use a Dremel to, um, tool just to follow the curve, and then the same there. Um, and then uh, on the other side, drill the hole just because this is thin material, of course, you need to use a to block it up. Take it careful. And these strips are then glued with double sided tape to the back of the gib here. Uh, I guess that's not the pro method, but at least that was, was practical for me. Because I mean, this is quite, quite a little, uh, even though it was worn and it, uh, it went in too far. It's not that much, um, so um, instead of taking it way down or making new, I did it like that. And then of course the other side is scraped, scraped along its length, length and fitted like normal. And my take on mounting to hold I take on mounting to hold uh, this one down while I'm grinding. It's with magnets, magnets of speakers discarded from work. Of course, might not be ideal, seems to function. See, this one is a little bit. A little bit uh, too weak, but I can use it to press down and then hold also here, and then the other one. So, of course, glue them up and then may need to scrape or do do something more with it, but this should be fairly flat. By the way, speaking of magnets, this is just a wooden piece with six magnets glued on. 
also discarded from work. This is my El Chipo fixture for uh, grinding or for dovetail scraping. It is fastened to the right here with this Dubuque clamps, I think we should call them. Very nice. You can just use the, this about for about as small anything. Work with just to get them out. And then, of course, this one clamps down there, and you can scrape. Trick to get them off slide sideways. Not ideal, but. Cost nothing. Not sure how good this turn uh, this is on camera, but at least this is my take on a cramped workspace. So I, I use the roof here to mount my clamps when not in use. Just the beams in the roof that is. Oh, just. Like that seems to function. Seems to be quite loose. A little bit sticky there. Yeah, a little bit. It seems to wiggle on about, so it's it's fairly flat. Same on this side, fairly flat. Uh, scrape it in on a bit more support, baby. I seem to, as some of them reported, have a little bit of problem with column lumps in the in the canode. But anyway, using Richard's method, I use a paint roller, which probably is better than I use a brayer. Uh, anyway, roll it from a pool here, having applied this just here as a resource, and then make your thin transparent layer here and wipe off with your fingers until you feel no grit and there should be no problem Only needs the slightest amount of pressure. Of course. There. So after only one scrape, you can see it's getting better. But here, here, or not here. So returning again after scraping. Surface area is improving. So back to the scraping table and yes it is Sunday today 
as evident from the music in the background. Good test. The downside is of course the <coughs> the magnetic sword for or you got to get rid of. Perhaps demagnetize also. But otherwise seems to function. I'm a little bit surprised. And of course you can blow it up now I stick it in the middle. And if I press down too much of course it is thin piece will bend. However, I can also feel it and listen to the noise uh, to the to the response when I excite it. See? Quite firm. Over here there is air. It should be evident when I flip it around. As you can see, I have cover here, but none here except for that tiny part where it got contacts when I when I tap it. Slowly getting there. A little bit better than also up here. There is st it's still shy. Okay, enough fooling around. Just get it done. of caution also of course scraping only uh, where you have the blue contact area here or makes it thinner so of course uh, and alters the geometry so you need to test it in the machine at the intervals to see if that's going in the right or wrong direction or I mean if you or if okay so glued up the, the gib And I blew up the flats and uh, this dovetail also, so I'll fit it Get on this side here, so you can see how it slides. I think it stays there. Of course, you should put the screws in, but <coughs> there's no rock. At least the rock you hear is from the other, from the uh, from the uh, in outfit. Didn't insert the gib there. So. Loosen the gib a little bit, and then it comes sliding off. Expecting I uh, see less contact in the middle here. This is the non gib side. Let's get some light in here. It's 
Excusez. There is some. I had only a, the very, very minimum of blue applied. And I can see that it is a little bit shallow in some areas. It's hard to see here on camera, but here, for instance, it's totally off in the middle. Okay, and uh, on the rear gib, no, the rear um, side, you can see there is a, a ridge almost or a gap here. This corresponds to here, actually, also. I don't know why, but this is so wide that it covers from here until here uh, for one reason or another As this is not a bearing surface over here anyway um, ok light again from the side perhaps like this it's fairly ok inside there It's thinner. That's this area. The other one, a little bit more shallow here than up here. But what about the gib? Yes. This has only contact the outer side as you can see and there a little bit on the inside This should match up with this being only yeah there is better but here only on that side.